All right, eighth graders, today we are going to take our notes and we're going to put them on index cards. So since I won't see you today, we're going to do this by video. So make sure you get some index cards. All right, first thing we're going to talk about is the standard form of a quadratic. So the standard form is the squared term, the single term, and the constant. Remember, you have A, B, C. You have your three terms like this. This is very important for when you're using the axis of symmetry formula. You need to know which one is your B and which one is your A. So make sure you have standard form of a quadratic on a card, okay? All right, your next card is your axis of symmetry card. All right, I want you to make a card that has this formula on it. This will be something that you need to know. X equals negative B over 2A. Then you're gonna solve this out, make it in lowest terms, and then you'll have your X. This is usually going to be a vertical line. Sometimes it'll be horizontal, sometimes it can be slant, but for the most point part, this x equal is gonna end up giving you an axis of symmetry that looks like a vertical line running through your coordinate plane. Okay, and then your very last card for the day that I want you to make is your vertex card. So once you find the x, your axis of symmetry from your last formula, you're going to plug that into the original equation. And when you plug that into the original equation, you're going to be solving for y. When you find the y, then you have found your vertex point. Use the x from your axis of symmetry, use your y from solving the function, and that becomes your vertex. And then by looking at the standard form, you can decide whether this vertex is a max or a min. But these are the three cards that I want you to make and have ready for me um, the next time I see you. All right. Thank you. Bye.